welcome back hopefully you can hear me and see me or not see me but see okay so this I'm gonna show I made a video before about picking up a dumpster and just the time involved with my bison um, cable trailer so now I'm gonna do one with the hook lift just to show you really the difference between and what I think wh why the hook lift if, if you're in the market for something like the hook lift um, and can afford it why you know you might want to go after that as an option oh. drove by the uh, residence but all right so I'm at the house you know backing up Okay, let me just take this off so you can see. So, lined up already. So, we'll put it in PTO mode on. We put it in neutral. Put the hook back. Hopefully you can see. Give it a little fuel. Yeah, fuel, a little throttle. So without the throttle, you can see it's going kind of slow. You can speed it up a little bit by giving it little RPI RPMs not much over 1k um, but it's enough to get it going all right so now straight back basically like that we're lined up back in neutral now we're just gonna move the hook piece up. All right, hook is on, the dumpster is hooked. I'm gonna pull the e-brake, get out and check. One thing you always wanna do, so you can see, hook is on. One thing you always wanna do is just make sure it's locked up. All right, the safety chain's not on, but you know i'll enable that now so safety chains on take a look see what the customer has in there looks like it's all fairly fastened down so get back in the truck take the e-brake off that way the truck can roll if need it and now we're just going to lift up it's light so it's actually pulling the truck so It's hard trying to operate both <laughs> both at the same time while I'm trying to record but there we go but so if this was a heavy dumpster it would actually pull itself underneath I can't drive with the PTO on so I have no way to kind of pull it up and back under it at the same time so I have to just put my brakes on I have a locking bar on mine so it's gonna come up onto the rails and then see water draining out so now it's down we'll pull the other hook forward now the locks in boom pto off brake back on now i get on unwind the tarp check for overhead wires Boom, tarp's done. Pick up my four by four blocks. I like to, on my smaller cans, throw a bungee on them just to help the tarps from bouncing around. There's a double. So I need one more tarp. Or one more set of bungees.
And again, this is an optional step. I just do it to prevent the tarp from bouncing since I have to go up a highway at speeds of 65, 70 miles an hour. So helps it from bouncing and jiggling, but there we go. E-brake off, put my seatbelt on, and we're out of here. Dumpster is picked up and we're on the road. Um, you know, this video is probably half the length of the other one. And like, you know, I showed you kind of putting those bungees on was an extra 30 seconds. Um, getting out and checking, you know, if I was paying attention while I was backing in, I could have done that while I was backing in. Um, it's always good to physically check because you don't want to dump a can on the ground and have to pick it all up. Um, but so those two things, I mean, would have shaved a minute off uh, of the time. So, I mean, you can pick up a dumpster or drop one off easily in under five minutes, you know, really under a few, min few minutes at all. So that's really the, that's really the, the time saver difference between the hook lift truck and like a, a trailer setup or a cable setup, you, you know, I don't have to line perfectly up. The truck is very maneuverable. It's nimble. Um, you know, I don't have to go back and forth five times to try and figure out how to, uh, you know, how I'm going to get into the driveway. You can, you know, s simply just, you know, back straight up, kind of like driving a car, or just a regular pickup truck hook the can and you're gone and if I put down you know boards and and things like that to kind of improve customer service but if you didn't do that if you didn't want to or you added it in hey I'll do boards it's extra I mean dropping off the dumpster would take you two minutes you back in the driveway and just roll it off and away you go uh, you know it's that quick where you'll see you know, I'll, I'll pin the video now if you watched it you know it it's it's a little bit and I cut like backing into it off a little bit so you know there was another minute or two on there of me trying to position the truck just to get the truck in the driveway to hook up to the can um, so give me your thoughts comments below smash the subscribe button to stay up to date on future content and I will catch you guys on the next one